from violinspiration.com. In this tutorial I'm going to show you exactly how to play a way in a major on the violin. So let's get started right away. Place your first finger on the D string and we are going to start with an up bow. So place your bow on the string somewhere on the top part and play beautiful up bow. Now two times open A string. Can you try it once more? Up, A, A. Of course you don't have to play vibrato, this is a beginner song, so you could play it without vibrato. Okay, after that we are going to play 1-2. Let's try that together. I will show you once how it goes. 1, A, A. Okay, let's try that together. Up bow. Okay, each time we have the same rhythm in this piece. So we have D, T, 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 D, T, T. Okay, so that rhythm comes back all the time. And also, if you look very closely at the piece, you will see that the first line of the piece and the third line are exactly the same. Have a look at the sheet music and do you see how the first line and the third line of the sheet music is exactly the same notes. So we are going to learn the complete first line here and at the same time you will also be learning the third line. Okay so let's have a look at that. We start with an apple. <laughs> After that, we are going to play one, A, A, one, two, A, A, two, three, E, E, one, three. Let's play a little question and answer game. I am going to play a piece and you are going to try to play it after me. Okay, let's start. Did you do that? Great. Okay, let's do it once more. One, A, A. Okay, now I'm going to make it a little more difficult. Was that difficult? I will show you once more. One, A, A, one, two, A, A. Your turn. Now let's have a look at the second part. Okay, let's try once more. Two, three, E, E, one, three. Or C sharp, D, E, E, F sharp, D. Da, 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 da. Play it for yourself. Now we are going to combine the two parts that we've learned so far. So first we have and then we have Can we combine that together? Let's try it together.
Okay, now I won't say it along and try it for yourself. Play along with me. One, two. Now we are going to go to the second line. So now you officially learn the first line if you manage to do all this. Now let's have a look at the second line together. So officially we start at the very last two notes of the first line. So let's start there. One, two. And let's play the same game again. You play after me. So I start playing, you play after me. And if you want to repeat a section of the video, of course, feel free to go back to a previous section and try it again. Okay. Try it. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Three, okay? Three. Three. Okay. I'm going to make this a little more difficult for you. So now we are going to play one, two, three, three, e, two, two. One, two, three, three, e. And for the E, you can either choose open E or fourth finger. You can choose. One, two. One, two, three. Three, E, two, two. Okay. One, two. Okay, let's try the second part. So now we officially entered the last part of the seventh bar. And here we can see... Okay, let's try if we can do that together. Let's first start with the first four notes. A few other notes. A three. And the three over here is a high three. Do you hear that? So what you need to do is to place the third finger just a little bit above where you would usually play it. What you can also do, instead of the open A string, you play the 4. 2, 4, and now 3. That might actually help to place the 3 right. Because if you place the 3 right, it should be exactly against the 4th finger. Okay, I will repeat now the entire first, second section that you've learned. Now I will 
played once all the way from the beginning. to play the second section together. Starting on the first finger on A, last bar of the first line, so one, two, the last two notes of the first line, fifth bar, last two notes. Okay, one, two. Okay, let's do that once more. One, two. We go back to the first line. Do you remember in the beginning of the video I said the first line and the third line are exactly the same notes? So let's repeat the first line now. Maybe we could even try to play it right now all the way together. Shall we try that? Okay. Get your violin on your shoulder again and we start at the first bar and we try to play all the way through until the 13th bar. We will first play the first part that you've learned, part one, then we will play part two, then part one again, right? So part one is going to repeat itself after the second part that we've learned. So this would be part one. Part two. High three. Part one again. Right, and uh, so that is where the part one would end it. So, okay, let's try it together. One, two. just played on. Do you believe that? Okay, I have to show you the last part right away before I just start to play it by myself. So did it go well? Should we try it once more? Okay, once more. I know you're sitting there on the other side of the screen like, mm, I didn't play all the notes right. Okay, let's do it once more and then I'm going to teach you the last part. One, start with the up bow. One, bar and at the fifth bar both of them they are the same right 
fifth and thirteen bar are the same. The fourteenth and the sixth bar are also the same. Have a look at both of the bars and notice how they are the same. The seventh and the fifteenth bar are also the same, right? But the sixteenth and the seventeenth bar are different than the eighth and the ninth bar. So I want to teach you now the last two bars of the piece so you can play them as well. The second round you will play that same part. So basically this would be like the second line and the fifth, fourth line are also pretty much the same. The first two bars are the same, but the last two bars are different. I will show you now the difference. Okay, so this would be the second line. Remember? Okay, now I will show you the last line. One, two, high three, four. So the first time round we will play one, two, four, three. The second time we play one, two, three, four. Right, so it's just the other way around. First time we play first the fourth finger and then the third finger. The second time we play first the third finger and then the fourth finger. And I really want you to be playing this by the end of practicing this piece by heart. I think this song is definitely short enough so that you don't need the sheet music. So that if you are performing this piece for your family, it is really nice to not have the sheet music in the way and just be able to smile at everyone instead of looking at the sheet music. Okay, so let's try to play the last part together. One, two, three, three, four, two, two, one, two, say four you could also play open string so I will show you now the alternative one two D D one two one two you play you really wanted to soften it a bit so instead of playing like I mean you could do that but you could also play it a bit more like this get softer slow down So yes, softer and softer until you reach the last note. Really make a decrescendo, that is what is called, right? Becoming softer in the music. So play a beautiful decrescendo here. I hope this tutorial helped you to learn the song. And definitely also have a look at my play along if you would like to see exactly all the notes of the song without me talking or giving you instructions in between. So please let me know how it went. And I look forward to see your videos of playing this song. Make sure to tag me at Violinspiration on Instagram. And I love to see your videos.